Imagine how cool it will be to race the same car that's bolt out of Lego. Revving now by Rangers, ready for the race. Virtual motorheads will leave a blazing trace. Sit and racing in our veins, a trailing pumping high. No limits, no brakes. We're reaching for the sky. Virtual motorheads. Hey guys, welcome to another video on virtual motorheads where my son and I are gonna do something very exciting today. Logan, tell them what we're gonna do. Yes, we're gonna build a Lego Ferrari. And then we're gonna race it in a set of Corsa. Which Ferrari? The 512M. Let's snap to it. How are we gonna build this? I don't know. What do we need? A book. I think so. <laughs> Wait, ah, yeah, we that, that was a freaking... <laughs> there we go. Okay, cool. So let's, let's do this. But guys, we're not going to bore you and build this Lego for the next hour. So we're going to speed things up and slow it down every now and again. Huh? Okay. So I know what's the start, Daddy. Alright, so where are we starting? No, there's those little pieces. There's one. Okay. We have to separate the colors. It's almost like doing washing. By the way, we forgot to show you which car we're building. You know it's the Ferrari 512M, 1970 Ferrari 512M to be exact. And that is what this bad boy looks like. The sound this thing's engine makes in the real life Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Okay. Operation separation done. Check it out. Does this need to be? Yes. We need a big flat one here. Yeah, like this? One. No, it's this one. Boom. Boom. So we're getting somewhere, taking shape the back of the car. One hour later. So we've skipped a little bit of this building because putting all of that together was a mission and a half. So, yeah, I'm gonna show it close to the camera. I hope you guys can see it. Hopefully it's focusing there. Okay, but yeah, we finished this side of the car. Stickers are on there, so now we need to do the rest on the other side. So we hopefully will get through that much quicker, um, but I am gonna speed it up. Starting to look good. Very, very good. Well, it looks like a rocket. Yeah. Well, it is a rocket. Once this car gets on the track, it is a rocket. The final piece, adding the wheels on this classic Wolf. Ferrari 512M. Wolf with gold inside. Okay, buddy, you do the honors. I would be to put the wheel down too. Right, daddy? Mm-hmm. And the guys in there, guys. Well, I mean the money. The race driver. Yeah. Well, Sancho, I don't know. No, this, they weren't even born yet when this car came out. I don't know, so this has to be something else. We're not missing no one blind, guys. And the end. And the end. That looks so cool. Huh? What do you think? Huh?
there you have it the 512 Ferrari 512 M in Lego uh, yes yeah and um, nice yeah we had a lot of fun building this didn't we but we did fight a bit, eh? Yeah. Frustrations. Kids, Ti dad's tired, tired little boy. Father and son problems. <laughs> but uh, we managed to get through it. So next up, we're going to take this bad boy Before for a spin. Round. Which track? I don't know yet. You'll have to see. <laughs> that was fun. Building the Lego with my little boy, I really enjoyed it. And you could see that he enjoyed it too. But before we jump onto the racetrack in this bad boy, we're first going to look at a brief history of the 1970 Ferrari 512M. Back in the wild days of racing, when engines roared and rubber burned, Ferrari unleashed the 512M. It wasn't just a car, it was a beast on wheels, ready to tear up the track and leave competitors in the dust. The Ferrari 512M was born out of a need for speed. In the early 1970s, endurance racing was at its peak and Ferrari needed a car that could dominate the competition. The 512M was born with one goal in mind, victory. With its sleek aerodynamic body and iconic Ferrari red paint job, the 512M was a sight to behold. But don't let its beauty fool you. Under the hood lurked a monstrous 5-litre V12 engine capable of producing over 600 horsepower. It was a true powerhouse on the racetrack. When it hit the track, the 512M was unstoppable with legendary drivers like Mario Andretti and Jackie X behind the wheel, it racked up wins and shattered records. From grueling 24 hours of Le Mans to the iconic Daytona circuit, the 512M proved its worth time and time again. Even though it's been over 50 years since its debut, the 512M still holds a special place in the hearts of racing enthusiasts. Its legacy lives on in the countless victories it achieved and the memories it created on track. So, my friends, there you have it, the 1970 Ferrari 512M, a true icon of racing history with a legacy that will never be forgotten. Buckle up and get ready to experience the raw power and speed of the legendary Ferrari 512M. Okay guys, Logan and I, we're gonna do one hot lap around Brands Hatch and um, I'm controlling the pedals and the shifter and he is doing the steering. Yes, it sounds like it's gonna be an absolute disaster. So, I believe when you're teaming up like this, slow and steady, gets you around the track without any mistakes. So, let me just sit. Lokes, you ready? Yes! Remember, we steer with our hands and our arms, we don't steer with our bodies. And focus. Three o'clock and nine o'clock. Off we go. What? One hot lap of Brands Hatch coming up. Stay left. Remember this corner. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm gonna break. Don't turn when I when I break. Turn, turn, turn. This time the corner didn't outsmart me, Daddy. Yes. Uh, 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 you are doing that same thing again. You're completely off your driving line. Turn in, you're allowed to go over the red and white. This one. The curbs, yeah, you're allowed to touch it. 
with your wheel, especially if you're turning. You are encouraged to do that turn. That's okay, yeah. Okay, focus, we're going fast. Okay, hold on. Okay, turn. We're doing good. Not too soon. Yeah, that's it, you're allowed to go over the curb. Don't turn, don't turn. Okay, turn now. Okay, I did it. Almost there. Turn. Nicely done. Almost there. Almost there. Don't lose concentration. Yeah. Turn. You can go over the curb, yes. Okay. Don't crash at the end when you go over the line. And there you have it. Well done. High five. Yeah. One hot lap done <laughs> of Franz Edge. Yeah. Take, what was that? Take 10. Take one. <laughs> Take 10 or 11 or 12. It was one, Daddy. Anyways, next up, I'm going to race against the AI. Ninety percent AI strength, seventy-five percent aggression, nine opponents, Brands Hatch. Let's go. But they close this gap. Oh, come on. <laughs> you think this game is so old, eh? These graphics look really good. Come on, dude, get out of my way. Five laps of this. Hope I'm gonna make it. Oh yeah, and then the car doesn't have any rear view mirrors, so I can't see who's behind me. Someone next to me. And this thing doesn't want to turn. This car does not want to turn. <laughs> Sorry. shift the gear there, completely wide. And I'm going off, this is impossible! someone coming. <sighs> this 
Pepsi. It's like a really... No, no, no! Crazy. Just imagine what this must be like with the R9 or R12 Moza by C. This car does not like to stop and turn. It was easier to bolt the leg. <laughs> I think the problem, the thing is you must just take it easier, easy with this car, it's not a, you don't toy with this thing, it's, and you must know when to brake, you must know your driving line, and where you're supposed to brake, where you're supposed to turn in, but you are constantly fighting this car, you see like that, messed up, because I didn't brake soon enough. You have to practice with this car, but it's a, it's a workout. Definitely a workout. I'm playing with the Moza HGP shifter. There will be a review coming on the shifter very soon. But it's amazing. Um, it feels, it feels real. This corner. Nah, very sharp corner. Can't take it too fast either. <laughs> See that? Back end just wants to flip out. Should learn how to shift. sure and press the clutch in one more lap one more lap I can still catch that thing if I'm lucky and I don't make any mistakes. Oof. You must just feel as soon as you brake hard with this car, this wheel just goes limp. There's nothing because of how the front wheels lock. I can't become cocky now and drive too fast because like I said this car doesn't like to brake stay in third gear Did I just... No.
Because I don't know how to shift, I've just destroyed my entire transmission. <laughs> Maybe I can coast over the finish line. Come on, come on. Don't just die on me. Am I gonna... You guys are lucky, man. Yes! <laughs> I'm not dead lost. Anyways. Hope you enjoyed this with me. Back to the studio. Guys, thank you so much for joining us for another video on virtual motorheads. Logan and I had a lot of fun putting this together and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. There will definitely be another video like this in the near future. Until next time.